What's up everyone, Justin with Jade Gapo here. Welcome to Holiday Tech Gift Guide 2012. In this episode, I will be talking about gaming. So in terms of gaming, there's a lot of consoles to consider, but instead of telling you the best option for each price range, I'm going to run through all the major devices and give you guys suggestions on advantages and disadvantages of each device, as well as the most suited genre and age group of each product. So, like always, the links will be down in the description below with the best prices. Without further ado, let's start out with the portable consoles. So one of the great options for a portable console is the Nintendo 3DS. The Nintendo 3DS starts out at $169.99 and there's also a larger XL version that will cost you $199.99. This device is really great for people who want to play games like Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, lots of fantasy games and that 3D display really adds to the gaming experience. It also has a motion gyro sensor built in, one analog stick, a 3D camera built in which is pretty fun to play with when you get to know it and it is also backwards compatible with all your old DS games. So it's definitely a great option for people who want to play those games like I said, Mario, Pokemon, and it is kind of targeted towards the mid age. So it would definitely be great suited for somebody around 10 and under, but for older people who still enjoy those games, there's no problem with that. <laughs> The next system I'm going to talk about is the PS Vita. This is a very different system from the Nintendo 3DS and it gives you a very interactive experience, a very graphic powered device and the specs of this are really really good. It has a 5 inch OLED touchscreen display, a rear touchpad that is very fun to use in games that support it, it has an ARM Cortex A9 quad core processor, a front and rear facing camera that really really suck but it's still there for you to use and it is also trying to adapt the augmented reality um, technology as well so that's also pretty fun to play with and it does also have double analog sticks so again like a console gaming kind of experience and a 3G version is also available this will cost you $249 for the regular version and $300 for the 3G version this is for people who want to play games like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Madden, FIFA, Uncharted, a lot of the games that you see on the, um, TV consoles that you want to play on the go and the online gaming experience I have to say is decent, it still gives you that nice gaming experience but I think the interactive part is the best of this device. The graphics definitely look very amazing but the fact that it has the gyro, it has the cameras and augmented reality built in, the touchpad both front and back really adds to the gaming interactive experience and it's very very fun to use. So now moving on to the TV consoles, I'm going to start out by talking about the Nintendo Wii Mini. This will be available on December 7th and it will cost you just $99. This is great for anybody who likes to play games on the Wii, the original Wii, and pretty much it's just the exact same system as the original Wii, except for the fact that it is cheaper and smaller. The hardware itself is redesigned and it is available in a nice bright red, which definitely looks very sick. Haven't actually got to see it in person as it isn't available yet, but I think it's a great option for a Christmas gift gift in terms of the budget and the fact that you can still play those old Wii games, Nintendo Wii games on that system, just great. Next up is the PS3 Slim. I know that the PS3 Super Slim just came out but I'm going to be recommending the PS3 Slim due to the fact that it widely does the same thing. This will cost you $249.99 for a 160GB version and as you know, it may play those games, but I'm going to talk about the differences between this and the Xbox 360 if you're trying to consider both devices. The PS3 Slim has a Blu-ray disc, which overall has a bigger capacity, so in most games you shouldn't have an issue, but in games such as L.I. Noir, who were very, very graphic intensive, this will be able to support it better. The graphics overall look slightly better, not too noticeable, but it does look better, but if you're hoping to watch movies, this is where you'll see the difference, as it does have the Blu-ray disc player, and you can play Blu-ray movies. It does also have built-in Bluetooth, which lets you have those Bluetooth headsets and controllers, and overall isn't really a big deal. From being a PS3 and Xbox user, I have to recommend the Xbox, not being biased, but after switching to the Xbox, I did find that the online experience was much better, although the PS3 does have a free online service. So if you're not going to be playing any online games, the PS3 is definitely a great option to go with. Moving on to the Xbox 360, this will cost you $300 for a 250GB model. This is probably one of the most popular consoles out there right now. and 
The online service is not free. You do have to pay about $60 a year. But from a long time PS3 user and just switching over to the Xbox recently, I have to say it does work much better as being maintained and everything. So if you're playing with any online games that you want to be playing online with, hands down the Xbox 360 is the one to go with. It does also have some classic games such as Halo that a lot of you enjoy, and for the PS3 if you're a fan of Uncharted, that's probably a reason that you would go for that as well. Another thing is also the Kinect. The Xbox does support the Kinect system that is pretty much like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like a motion tracking camera and a lot of games that are made for are very fun to play such as Kinect Sports. It's kind of like you could play soccer and just do real life actions and the camera will sense it. So a lot of you may know what that is already. This will cost you $149 to add or you can buy it in a bundle with the Xbox. So last but not least, there is also the Nintendo Wii U. This just came out and it's supposed to be one of the biggest hot sellers of this holiday season. The Nintendo Wii U is available in two models, both $299 and $349 based on storage configuration and colors, both white and black. And the system itself is pretty cool. I actually had a chance to try it out already and it has a nice gamepad that is somewhere around the size of the iPad mini. The screen is smaller than that, but it has double joysticks, analog sticks, and allows you to play the console or the games away from the system. And the overall gaming experience is still a lot like the Nintendo Wii, but the graphics do look better. It is HD now, and for a lot of people, this is a very cool device due to the fact that it has better new motion tracking, the new games made for it, and obviously the gamepad, which is probably the biggest reason why you would be buying this. So, thanks for watching this episode of Holiday Tech Gift Guide 2012, guys. Please remember to hit the subscribe button above. I might be giving away some of these stuff in the near future, so please remember to subscribe. Leave a comment below on any other categories you would like to see me cover. Please stay tuned for future video, guys. I'll see you in my next video.